Good morning. So today we're going to and have another series of, 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 of videos on the review on the business statistics that we had during the semester in preparation for your departmental exam. Okay, so let's start. So we, we will review the basic uh, common symbols that we will encounter during the course. Okay, so we have the symbols for the mean, the variance, the standard deviation. Okay, for the sample, x bar, for the variance, you have the S squared, and then S for the uh, standard deviation. For the population, you have the mu, and we have the lambda squared for the variance, and we have the lambda for the population. It's very easy to distinguish, and then we discuss this one during the class. If How are you going to identify if, to, as a mnemonic, how are you going to identify if this symbol here is for the population or the sample? It is very easy. So. This looks like, the mu looks like letter U. The question is, can you find letter U in the word sample here? No, you cannot. However, in the word population, you can simply uh, look at this letter U here. So, it should be, and this symbol here uh, is part of the uh, symbols for the population. How about the variance, the sigma squared here? Okay, you cannot find letter O in the word sample. However, in the population, you can find two letter O's. We have the first O here and then the first O here. So, you see, man, that's the, that's the lambda squared. Okay, of course, the standard deviation, that's O, you can find either this one or this one. So very easy to distinguish. Okay, it's very important because uh, later on in our uh, framework, we're going to uh, make sure that we put uh, the correct symbols for a certain given. Okay, so during also our discussion, we discussed the, the Raymond framework. Uh, we created the Raymond framework for us to, uh, we, we term this framework here as a the Raymond. So every time we solve a problem in inferential, we're going to, to, to convert the problem first. Very easy for, very, very important that we have to convert the problem into a framework, into a framework. Okay, so in this case here, the big circle here represents the population, and then this arrow here represents that from the population we're taking a sample, okay, a, a certain sample size, and then this small circle here represents uh, the the sample, okay, and then the arrow back here represents that we're trying to infer or we're trying to predict the population using uh, the the statistic that we had. Uh, in this particular circle here, in our sample, okay. So, so n here represents the sample size of the population. The pop, uh, no, sorry, the, the n there represents this population size. The mu here represents the population mean, okay. And then the lambda here represents the population standard deviation. Okay, and then we will get the sampling. That's why we have the small letter N here to represent the sample size. And then the X bar here is to represent the mean, the sample mean of this portion here. And then we will also have, in the later chapter, we will discuss the uh, sample standard deviation. Okay, so that's the, the Raymond framework. So we will start our discussion, we will start our review on the sampling and sampling distribution. Okay, so we have, we have a Raymond here, and then the mu, and then the sigma. So we, in, in a particular problem where the population size is, population mean is given, and then the population standard deviation is given, and then we will take a certain sample from that population, and then we will try and to compute the sample mean. So if this kind of problem here, if that's the given, we will use this formula here. The z is equal to x bar minus mu divided by the population standard deviation divided by the square root of n. In, in this particular problem here, in this particular set, uh, where we will only memorize three formulas. And in the later chapters, we can just uh, simply derive the formula, especially in solving for the confidence interval and then the critical values later on. However, so these formulas are very important and we have to distinguish how to use this formula and when to use this, this formula. Okay, so if the population standard deviation, this one here, if the, if the population standard deviation is given, we're going to so, to use this formula here. Okay, however, if the in some cases where the population size is given, we cannot use this formula now. We're going to use 
this formula here. Basically, the formula is still just the same. This, the, the previous formula is around here. And then we inserted the finite correction factor here at the denominator. Okay? So, as simple as that. And then, if the problem is talking about... If the problem is talking about the proportion, proportion of the population, proportion of the sample, and we get the proportion. So, for example, in this case here, given the population proportion, so, and then the Q can be computed simply by 1 minus P. So, the formula for Q here is 1 minus P. And then the sample size here is given. And then the P hat represents the, the sample proportion. Okay, we will understand more the uh, more as we solve more problems later on. Okay, if this if this uh, framework is given, so we will use this formula here. Okay, so in the next video we we will solve uh, problems related and how to use this formula here and using this framework. Okay, thank you.